Hi, hello, hope you're in fine voice. Now, if you're narrating an audio book, and uh, particularly for ACX, which is the Audible platform, you'll be going through the motions of doing your recording and editing, de-breathing at times, leaving some breaths in perhaps, and then you might reach a stumbling block and they will suddenly, ACX will suddenly say, oh, oh no, your RMS levels need to be between minus 23 and minus 18 dB, which all sounds terribly scary. And all it means really is, RMS stands for root mean square, by the way, but what they're saying is we don't want it to be too loud and we don't want your recording to be too soft. It's got to be just right. The Goldilocks zone, if you like. That's what they're aiming for, which you can understand because listeners don't want to be turning up, cranking up the volume and, and then turning it back down again. They want a sort of fairly even, consistent volume to listen to. So RMS levels are very important and certainly important to ACX. Now, it's a bit of, bit of a scary thing when you, you see that. So Let's use Audacity to see how we can analyse the RMS levels and actually change them to meet the ACX requirements. So here's my story. Let's play it just to see what it's like. One fine evening in the August of the year 1666, Martin Leake, aged 14 and a few months. There it is. But let's check what the RMS levels are. Now, if you go to Analyze in Audacity, so you go to the toolbar, Analyze, and then Measure RMS, it will say, in this case, minus 32.3341 dB. And that is actually too quiet. So what I want to do is make it a bit louder and get within those parameters of minus 23 to minus 18 dB. So I want to make it louder, and what I do is I go to Effect and then Volume and Compression and Loudness Normalization. If I look there and you see I've got Normalize and RMS comes up. You might have another option which is Perceived Loudness. We don't want that. We want the RMS level and it's coming up as a default kind of minus 23, which would be absolutely fine because it fits within that those, uh, those required parameters. And if I just apply it, minus 23, you'll see immediately the waveforms got bigger and that means it's louder. And if I just go back again, So I go to volume and compression, loudness, normalization, RMS. Let's try the minus 18, which was kind of the other, the other end of the scale, their required scale. Apply, don't forget to put the minus, apply. And it's even louder, look. So that should work perfectly. I am using Audacity 3.2 there. If you've got a different version, there may be some slight variation in, in how you do it. And there are plugins that you can use, but this is all built in to Audacity 3.2. And it's a great way of taking that pressure off you. So don't be bamboozled by the, the RMS levels. It's, it's not as scary as you might think. Okay, thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.